Planning your next vacation in London? This amazing city is the world's most popular travel destination with more landmarks, monuments and attractions than any other city. If this is your first, second or even third visit to the city, you should pre-plan it to assure that you make the most of your vacation. Here is our special guide to help you plan the perfect vacation. Let's start with sightseeing. London is literally packed with attractions and one might need more than a month to see it all. And although a vacation is not all about sightseeing, you should dedicate at least a day or two to this. Our tips? Stay by the River Thames or even better, take a river cruise and hop on and off a bus to see the must-see monuments on both banks of the river. The list is long, including the Tower of London, Tower Bridge, St Paul's, Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, Shakespeare Globe Theatre, Tate Modern and much more. Fancy some shopping in London? As you can imagine, London has everything one might desire, from huge megastores on high streets such as Oxford Street or Regent Street, to small quirky boutiques in Soho. Two major shopping malls are in Shepherd's Bush and Stratford, and let's not forget the famous London markets. Our tip? If you are on a tight schedule, you should concentrate either on high street stores or visit the malls, as they offer more or less the same brands and retail chains. Visit the markets to combine shopping with sightseeing and to enjoy the atmosphere. We recommend visiting at least two or three of them, maybe Camden Market, Portobello Market, Borough Market or Spitalfield Market. It all depends on your schedule. Want to explore London's nightlife? This city has it all. First, let's talk about one of the most popular attractions in the city, West End musicals. Almost every tourist in London plans to see at least one show, so you can imagine that good tickets sell out quickly. Our tip is to avoid the half-price ticket stands you see in Piccadilly and Leicester Squares. Don't waste your precious time standing in long lines only to discover that the musical you wish to see is sold out or that you bought the worst tickets in the house. Unfortunately, this is the reason why those tickets are sold at a discount. So you saved a couple of pounds on the price, but you've now found yourself sitting in a seat where you can only see half the stage. Now that would be annoying. Planning a night out? Pubs are basically located everywhere and clubs are scattered around. One important thing to remember is that the underground stops working around midnight. So, if you plan on spending your time here partying, try to find a hotel nearby the club. Taking a taxi from one side of London to the other might cost you as much as one night in your hotel. Now let's talk about visiting London with kids. There are numerous things you could do, from taking a ride on the London Eye, visiting Madame Tussauds, London Dungeon or a football stadium. Unfortunately, all of these attractions will be very expensive unless you pre-plan your trip in advance and mix free attractions with paid ones. For example, London's top museums are based on donations only and most of them have great exhibitions dedicated for kids. You could always add a visit to one of London's great parks which are packed with things to see and do. Just plan your schedule smartly. <laughs> 